has never seen before. Honestly provocative talk. Stop listening to the bombastic loud mouths on the radio and television and the internet. To hell with them. With Lars Larsen. Larsen. And it doesn't get much better than this. Let me tell you where I'm standing right now because I'll tell you what, 42 years in the radio biz, to be able to get to the point where you could do a show and say out loud, live from the East Room of the White House at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, welcome to the Lars Larson Show. Yeah, it is. And if you think it, it, if you think it doesn't feel surreal to stand in this building, one of the most exclusive pieces of real estate on the earth, but it's not just a piece of real estate. It's not just a house that houses whatever president is serving America during that period of time. It is the place where for at least the last 100 years, and arguably more than that, the single most important decisions anywhere on planet earth were made in this building. And they were made by the men who have served as president, and someday they'll be made by women who serve as president, just not yet, not, not this time. And it is such a pleasure to be with you live from the East Room of the White House. And let me tell you where I am. This room is the biggest single room in the White House. And it's so big, it has its own Wikipedia page. Uh, the White House has a Wikipedia page, but so does the East Room. The East Room is beautiful and it's worth it. folks out there they're not most of the changes that they object to and it's funny to hear that in fact in the network news i just heard before the show started today in the network news they're objecting the changes that affect themselves and their rich friends now i had thought at one point the democrats always run the mean that it's the republicans who care about the rich and it's the democrats who care about the average person this bill provides a tax cut for middle-class working folks. And in some ways, it's not that good for rich people because it keeps one of the top tax rates, 39.6% for people above a million bucks a year. The rich will still pay that. The rich will lose much of the deductibility of some of the more expensive homes in America, but average homes won't be touched. And Hillary Clinton is gonna get whacked hard by this because the tax law changes that take away some of the deductibility, mostly it applies to people with six-figure incomes of what's called SALT state and local taxes. The acronym is SALT. Hillary Clinton apparently has about $1 million in SALT deductions, and yes, her tax bill is likely to go up. Hey, if I was a member of Congress, just the fact that it raises Hillary's taxes alone would make me happy. But what's happening here today is that the administration knew it was going to be rolling out the tax plan, and so they've invited a selection of a few of us in talk radio to broadcast live from this room. And I want to take your phone calls and emails. We have some special guests coming up, but I'm always glad to get calls because we're glad to be broadcasting live from the White House. So if you want to join the best conversation in talk journalism, it's right here at 866-HEY-LARS. Today's live broadcast from the East Room of the White House brought to you by Price Financial Group Wealth Management. Find out more at pfgwm.com. 
And if you want to jump into the best conversation in talk journalism, honestly provocative talk radio from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, just dial me up at 866-HEY-LARS. That's 866-439-5277. Emails go to talk at LarsLarson.com. Now our Twitter poll, which you can find a couple of places on Twitter at Lars Larson Show and on my website, LarsLarson.com. Should the New York City Islamic terrorist get the death penalty as President Trump suggested late last night? Boy, I woke up this morning in a hotel room in Washington, D.C. before we walked over here to the White House, and it was a nice walk. Uh, a sh not, not that long a walk, but it was a nice walk. I was hearing all the usual suspects, and I'll, I'll give you a couple of thoughts on that in a moment, but they were all going crazy about the fact that the president has said this terrorist should get the death penalty. Well, the death penalty is written into the law. It's written into the law, so why not get the death penalty? I've had a few people say, well, it's inappropriate for the president to suggest that somebody might be a terrorist, or that somebody might be guilty, or that he might deserve the death penalty. I think it's perfectly appropriate. During the campaign, Donald Trump said he did not want terrorists.